Hello everyone. So, we will continue with wear trial technique. So, in last class we have discussed that wear trial technique is uh, extremely important in clothing comfort related research okay. and where the actual wear uh, situation is important to evaluate the comfort sensation. Also we have mentioned that wear trial technique basically depends on the fabric related properties that is type of fiber, type of yarn, type of fabric structure and uh, type of garment like uh, feet related characteristics. Then environment related characteristics like temperature, humidity and uh, wind velocity and also the activity level. So, this all these things we can only get if we perform wear trial technique. Individually measuring a particular value say thermal transmission and moisture transmission or whatever may be or handle related characteristics will not give us the overall sensation of clothing after wear. So, we have to get information after from the respondent after wearing the cloth and at different level of activity and at different climatic condition. Okay. So, so, necessity is that we have discussed that this is very important to get uh, actual uh, data from the respondent to, to generate reactions of wearer to any perceived discomfort sensation produced by different climatic condition, different activity level. Okay. So, these are the uh, different uh, external stimuli uh, that is uh, it is uh, that uh, particular wear sensation we can generate for a particular type of external stimuli and physical activity. The external stimuli is the heat, moisture and wind velocity and mechanical stimuli is a softness, scratchiness, prickiness. Okay. These are the or different types of harsh or may be rigid this type of mechanical stimuli we can uh, get. These stimulations are normally generated under, under specific wear condition or specific physiological state or specific environmental condition okay. like uh, sweating rate, physical activities, material used in clothing, okay. fitness of clothing temperature, humidity and air velocity of the environment all these things controls the actually response from the wearer. So, the steps are first step is to generate the sensory attributes with wearer. First wearer has to be defined what type of sensory attributes we are looking at like for extreme cold climate clothing we are trying to develop, we may not require the whether it is a soft or hard or something. So, for a particular requirement we have to define the sensory attributes, what are the sensory attributes we are looking at. We are suppose extreme cold climate clothing we are looking at the whether it is giving it will give you warmth or not. So, according to the requirement we have to define that is the first step. Second step is that selection of a particular test condition like if we want to develop a clothing for extreme cold climate we will not definitely select a, a temperature of environment of a normal room temperature we have to select uh, that particular suppose we our target is minus 40 degree Celsius. So, our target should be that uh, that we have to test the uh, perform this wear trial 
at that test condition at that uh, room temperature minus 40 degree Celsius. Then next step is the psychological scale some uh, different types of rating scale we have to uh, design particular rating scale okay, that we have discussed earlier what type of sensory attributes we want to uh, evaluate and we have to design we have to select a particular rating scale okay. like this we are whether do we want to uh, evaluate stiffness, stickiness, non absorbent, cold, damp, clammy or this all the rough, scratchy. So, at different time interval. So, we have to we have to actually uh, design this test process at different time interval in a particular environmental condition. That questionnaire we have to give and we have to define the uh, that uh, total procedure. Okay. Next is the, the wear trial can be conducted in controlled environmental condition. So, particular environmental condition we have to generate and that at that condition we have to perform this test. Each comfort attribute can be separately rated at different time interval. This is very important. We cannot have overall comfort sensation perception at a particular time. It changes, it is it is not constant. So, that uh, during our uh, design of the experiment we have to design, okay. we have to take the uh, response at the beginning at after interval of the particular time and at the end of the this uh, experiment that we have to a particular fabric a particular clothing may be very comfortable at the beginning, but at the end that may fail. So, that is why we have to design the time these are the steps of wear trial and then next is that you have to collect the data the all the collected data then we have to analyze. So, with the statistical technique we have to analyze, then we can tell okay, this we have performed the total wear trial technique. So, what are the steps let us see once again, first uh, you have to generate the attributes of the wear what, what which attributes we want to test, then is a select the particular test condition. Okay. Test condition means uh, we have to select total not only the um, uh, environmental condition but we have to say okay you have to train the uh, wearer you have to respond at, uh, at the beginning at a certain after certain time and all so these are the steps we have and then we'll uh, discuss a couple of examples okay which is published one this is uh, in this study warm and humid climatic conditions were produced using climatic chamber with a precise control of air temperature and humidity. So, this is a, a, a garment which will be used for warm and humidity. It is a workwear, workwear type garment is developed being developed and we have to test. So, this uh, that exact humidity and temperature of the climate we have to generate. Okay. So, different varieties of garments that workwear garment has been taken 30 different varieties of garments were taken with 6 coverall type. So, the, uh, the 6 different types of coveralls were used. So, the here the variability is it is a 30 multiplied by 6. So, 180 different types of combinations are generated. Okay. Then the each test sessions were and the each test session was made up of five individual evaluation period. So, at different evaluation period it has five different uh, evaluation period, the data responses were taken. So, that means uh, 180 different types of clothing combination and five different types of at different time interval we have got the response. So, total data number of data will be multiplied by 5, it will be 900 different types of individual evaluations will be getting. So, the this large number of data. So, wh wh which one is constant here? Constant is the environment for a particular environment it is say if we want to vary the environment then the number of data will be 
huge. So, normally in wet trial we do not want to we do not change the climatic condition, because the, the particular garment is targeted for a particular environmental condition that is why it is not varied. Okay. So, here 900 different data uh, and uh, comfort ratings were assessed in this this type of rating scale it is overall comfort, overall comfort is uh, that that means, in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 say 10 or whatever scales are given. Another attribute was the thermal sensation, one is overall comfort, another is a thermal sensation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 scale and contact comfort that it is a at uh, different types of contact uh, the tactile sensation. Okay. So, this three different types of uh, attributes were uh, sensations were taken. So, the overall comfort sensations were expressed in terms of seven different types of level. So, one being the very uncomfortable, two uncomfortable, three slightly uncomfortable, four it is a neutral one, five slightly uncomfortable, slight, slightly comfortable and seven is very comfortable. So, this is extremely important to train the wearer, wearer he does not know. So, he has to be actually trained which one is very comfortable, which one is very uncomfortable. So, this data has to be there with him, then only he, he can rate that one. Okay. The wearer and the garments were precisely wet before and after the completion of the protocol the total protocol you are completing then before before start of the wear trial technique the wearer has to be wet so he is uh, you take the weight of the wearer then take the weight of the garment complete garment before and after why do we need that one because to estimate the moisture loss from the body how much moisture is lost from the body that physiological activity we would like to know, because that will help in assessing the human physiological activity for a particular gar garment with that particular uh, environmental condition. If he starts giving the higher moisture loss that may not be actually good. Okay. So, that way and uh, it has correlated with this moisture loss with the overall thermal comfort perception. Uh, perception okay and also to determine the amount of moisture accumulated in the test garment. So, before test and after test what we have taken it is a that, uh, that this the loss of moist moisture loss of moisture by the body by, by the person may not be equal to the gain of the by the garment. That means, that this loss this difference is the actually that actual evaporation that also that we will get this um, data. This will give the overall actually whether this garment will be suitable or not irrespective of the whether it is a comfort or not. So, that this is one scale is it is psychological scale it is a comfortable or not. In addition to that it is checked that whether this uh, it is a physiologically he is perfect or not okay. and also it gives an idea about that the type of moisture released by the garment. Okay. This is the experimental design and then statistical technique has been adopted uh, to analyze this thing. So, we can get overall so just by simple designing of uh, wear trial we can get all total behavior of clothing. Okay. Next is that the next example it says the wear trial technique where it is a sports wear a particular sportswear been developed. So, 22 professional athletes were selected, okay. they have been selected as a subject okay. who has taken part in the psychological sensory cycling okay, tri trial okay. in an environmental condition uh, controlled condition of the laboratory. Okay. So, that uh, controlled condition is created in the laboratory to simulate the actual 
environmental condition when he will use the cycling. It is a different commercial sportswear were selected. Now, different commercial sportswear were collected okay, and which one is will give you the best result that uh, the, this study will tell. Okay. So, pre trial had been conducted to obtain training and understanding of the questions and procedures involved. So, this is very important this uh, this professional athletes athletes they may not know the actual condition actual what actually do we want. So, we have to do several pre trial at different level and then we have to actually train them the about the procedure or about the question okay, how to actually uh, respond. The during each trial each athlete was required to shower. So, they have to actually it is a to keep the condition uniform there it is a stringent requirement is there they have to uh, take bath okay, upon arriving the laboratory then change into a test garment. So, they will change the test uh, to test garment and pair of nylon shoes nylon shorts they will wear and uh, then rest with the equilibrium condition for 20 minutes for 20 minutes they will take rest. So, this is actually this protocol is fixed for all the uh, athletes. Okay. Now, the laboratory condition is fixed where it is a 15 degree Celsius 65 percent relative humidity and an air velocity of 0.15 to 1.5 meter per second. So, it is created. Okay. Then at the end of the equilibrium period that is that after 20 minutes okay, the athletes were asked to ride the cycle bicycle okay, the ergonomic bike for 90 minutes under the workload to maintain their heartbeat at 70 percent of the estimated maxima. So, that the speed speed for different athlete the speed will be different. Okay. Now, that sp uh, speed we cannot uh, it is a, it's a subjective okay. the, it's a for different. Okay. So, to keep the physiological condition constant. So, heart rate has is taken here. So, maximum heart rate is known for a particular person if it is known. So, 70 percent of that heart rate is kept. Okay. So, if it is more then their activity has to be reduced like that. Okay. The athletes were asked to rate the sensory perception. So, what are the perception he is feeling? Okay. It is a clammy, clingy, sticky, damp, heavy. So, all this type different types of sensory attributes were presented and asked he has he was asked to evaluate or rate this value okay and at different time interval here time intervals were taken at the beginning time interval then after 30 minutes after 60 minutes and after 90 minutes so at this different types of different time interval he was asked to rate with all this perception sensory perception. Okay. The rating is actually it is a 100 scale. So, it is a by the subsequently converted to the it is whatever rating is given it is give it is converted to 0 to 100 scale for all the sensory perception except feet and thermal sensation. So, feet and thermal sensation what they have uh, taken it is a, a minus 50 to plus 50. So, it is it's extremely loose or extremely tight or extremely hot or extremely cold. So, a rest other attributes like this all these attributes they have taken into 100 scale, but uh, feet and uh, thermal sensation. So, from too loose to too fit too uh, tight and uh, from too cold to too hot. So, this way it has been rated and 
then um, they have done the statistical analysis and results were reported. Okay. So, we can design our uh, wear trial technique according to our own applications, okay, own use. So, another wear trial technique that we have performed, this is a psychological response of clothing by wear trial technique under cold weather condition. So, here we have developed four different types of uh, clothing jackets. Okay. This is done in our lab. So, four different types of jackets have been developed and so the jacket one, but the difference is only that inner layer and outer layer they are uh, fixed only difference is that the uh, middle layer. So, middle layer is made of say 1.5 uh, denier needle punched non oven fabric. Okay. Uh, jacket weight we have uh, tried to keep around say 800 gram okay. Okay. and uh, uh, jacket 2 is uh, uh, through air bonded non oven. This uh, through air bonded non oven actually ultimately we will see this is uh, this gives very high thermal insulation. But due to very high higher thickness it, it fails we will see that uh, that jacket 2 fails in giving warmth. So, why because it is uh, due to it is uh, higher thickness the moisture vapor transmission is not proper. So, that gives a poor result that means which shows here the needle felt or say hollow needle uh, felt fabric needle punched fabric with 115 denier fabric although it gives lower thermal insulation than uh, the jacket sorry jacket sorry than the through air bonded fabric if when we tested objective testing when we tested by the, the thermal insulation it gives jacket uh, the two gives the best result as far as thermal insulation is concerned but in wear trial technique this fails because there the other environmental and physiological condition comes into picture. So, that is the importance of the wire trial technique. Here through wire trial technique we could say that this fabric jacket 2 is not suitable for extreme cold climate clothing okay. that we will see. And here we have, we have tested performed the test in three different environmental temperature 10 degree Celsius, 0 degree Celsius and minus 10 degree Celsius three different temperature we have uh, performed and total clothing weight it is uh, for 10 degree Celsius it is uh, although the jacket weight is same almost, but total clothing weight is different as per the standard norms we have used different in addition to the jacket we have used under shirt under pant. So, different types of other uh, accessories we have to use okay. and the parameters what we have measured is the body mass weight of all the uh, clothing before and after test and skin temperature and relative humidity at different parts of the body. So, that we have designed as per the standard protocol and uh, relative humidity and air velocity of the chamber was kept constant around 50 degree 50 percent and 0.5 meter per second that is the relative humidity and temperature we have changed. Okay. And the uh, total test protocol is that it is total time was kept 80 minute okay. and uh, initially 10 minute was uh, uh, rest inside the chamber then uh, 20 minute walk at 1.5 5 kilometer per hour speed, then again 15 minutes rest, then 20 minute walk at 3 kilometer per hour speed, then at last 15 minute rest. So, total it comes out to be 80 minutes test protocol and during that time along with the other parameters we have rated the garment, rated the garment it is a in types of comfort comfort rating and in terms of the warmth rating. In warmth rating we have taken 9 point scale, 9 point scale it is a hot 
it is a positive it is a from plus 4 to plus 1, plus 4 denotes the very hot 3 hot warm and slightly warm and 0 rating is the neutral and similarly for cold it is slightly cold to very freezing. So, these are the cold um, related hot or cold related temperature related or uh, feeling and for comfort related way we have used 5 point scale it is from starting from 0 which is extremely comfortable and uh, 4 means extremely uncomfortable. We have used the standard ISO 10551 2001 this uh, with this protocol we have uh, performed the test. So, this is the climatic uh, chamber and uh, these are the sensors which sense the uh, skin temperature and skin humidity at different parts of body and uh, the after uh, wearing cloth within uh, this is the uh, after jacket this is and what we have observed we have observed here just see at 10 degree Celsius temperature jacket 2 consisting of through air bonded nonoven gives uncomfortable feeling. It is a it is a because see you just see temperature is a for a jacket 2 it is a this is the it is a little bit cooler because it is it gives little bit cold. So, but our skin temperature should be around 34 degree Celsius or 35 degree Celsius. Okay. So, the 34 or 35, 36 degree, but it is giving little bit uncomfortably cold. So, because why? So, there is a needle field as we have discussed. See, if we see the temperature all at different say, say arm region, particular region, I'll, I'll earlier with a chest region. So, uh, at different zone we have uh, seen that this uh, gives the uh, lowest temperature. So, why if we see the humidity the humidity sensor gives the shows that it gives the very high humidity very high humidity at that for jacket 2. That means, at 10 degree Celsius temperature, whatever uh, your um, uh, humid that sweat we are actually body is releasing that the particular jacket is not able to actually transmit because of its thickness. Okay. And uh, see this is a, a different abdomen region which we can just see this uh, high uh, humidity high sweat rate. Now, coming to the at uh, 10 degrees uh, 0 degree Celsius temperature, the jacket 3 and 4 consisting of uh, hollow fiber, okay. hollow fiber gives warmth. Okay. See the temperature is it is uh, it is a little bit high. So, that it, this gives at 0 degree Celsius it gives warmth because of the presence of hollow fiber. Okay. Even this is true for other other uh, region at different region we see at so this fabric gives uh, the and this uh, this trend this is we have to see the overall trend at different body part it is not consistent so depending on the physiological condition the sweating uh, pattern is different but we we try to study uh, the overall uh, sensation okay now just see that at 0 degree celsius jacket 2 and jacket 4 shows higher uh, skin uh, moisture okay that means it is not able to transmit the moisture okay at your so abdomen region the relative humidity of the moisture uh, the skin is very high okay so that now coming to the sub zero temperature at sub zero temperature if we see carefully jacket 2 gives lesser skin temperature. This is actually jacket it, this scapular region it is confusing, but if you see other chest region chest region it is a it gives the lower skin temperature. 
So, chest chamber area is the area we will discuss uh, in the next uh, session in neurophysiology that uh, the cold sensation in chest is very sensitive. Where if we get the lower temperature, our sensation will be very high, okay, cold sensation will be very high. So, at jacket 2, if you see it is a green one which gives the temperature from 35 it drops to say 31. So, with the time with the activity, what does it show? X axis, it is a time of activity. So, initially the temperature was at that uh, minus 10 degree Celsius, the temperature of the skin was uh, okay 35, it is comfortable. But during activity, as we start sweating during walking, and that is as per the protocol, or that uh, this uh, jacket fails to actually transmit moisture from body to skin to outside. That is why it fails at the temperature reduces because the humidity increases at that zone. Okay. So, that is why here he will start feeling uncomfortably cold, uncomfortable because the skin temperature has become around say 30, 31 degree Celsius. Okay. But this you see that uh, the fabric with hollow uh, fiber, so 4, which gives the better uh, temperature, which is comfortable temperature. Okay. So, let us see in other zone also, other zone also the temperature, it gives the lower temperature, it is around. So, this is giving a cooler effect at, at extreme cold. So, this actually fails at that uh, uh, temperature, even in the um, arm region. And another thing that as uh, this we have not shown here the psychological rating, okay. the rating scale we have compared with this way. rating scale at different time we have uh, compared we have got very good correlation with that uh, with that this uh, temperature and humidity okay so at that at this temperature say at this uh, say after say at 50 or after, after 60 minute time this fabric uh, whatever responses we have got responses we have got from this uh, uh, jacket 2 which is which gives the uncomfortably cold sensation so that is actually we have got proper uh, correlation of this. Okay. Like uh, it, if we see the humidity, now humidity will give you uh, the, the uh, proper picture. So, uh, if we see uh, the humidity, this is the temperature. Okay. Now, if we see the humidity, humidity we have taken in one uh, scapula zone only. Okay. If you see it is a clear the humidity of environment of the, of the skin, skin humidity which is it is a very high, it is almost it is a our we have seen that uh, the in uh, that microclimate zone the comfortable humidity should be around 32, 33, okay, 34, okay. but here if we see that humidity is around more than that, okay. so around uh, 40, 40 35 above 35. So, which is actually which does not give the comfort uh, rating. Okay. So, and this uh, um, is a total it is a actually correlated with the psychological rating. Now, see the conclusion. So, jacket as we have discussed that uh, jackets consisting of uh, finer fiber that is 1 and hollow fiber 3 and 4 were performed well at higher ambient temperature, but as the ambient temperature decreases, the jacket consisting of finer fiber failed to perform because of less porosity and air volume, which significantly contributes the thermal insulation. Now, we will discuss the aesthetic comfort. Okay. So, aesthetic comfort is uh, related to completely related to the psychological perception of human body. This is the there is a complex interplay between clothing aesthetics and body attributes. So, it depends on the body attributes the how the clothing will look like. Okay. Human body imaging is a technique 
which can be adopted to study the clothing aesthetics because body imaging will give us the complete picture three dimensional body imaging will give us the complete picture of the shape of the body and basically the wearer through the clothing would always like to get the aesthetic pleasure okay and by emphasizing some positive attributes of the body what is the positive features of the body and hiding some negative feature. One simple example it is a very well known example like if we select our checks or stripes we can get actually some aesthetically actually some illusion effect of uh, so the of our human uh, uh, body. Suppose a person who is actually short in uh, height, if he wears a vertical stripe, it will automatically give a taller in look. So, that way, even uh, by uh, designing by different a fat person or a, a lean person or can design their clothing accordingly. Like I am not uh, suppose a, a lean person can design a clothing with a loose fit clothing. So, it will give him some uh, bulky nature. So, that similarly uh, person depending uh, on a body feature by designing the clothing one can actually hide it is uh, some uh, negative feature and give some aesthetic pleasure aesthetic comfort. So, aesthetic comfort is actually totally psychological in nature, it is very difficult to measure okay, at least objectively and due to its subjectivity it is uh, very difficult to uh, measure. So, the clothing components of clothing aesthetics are basically it is uh, there are four different components we can measure the aesthetic, we have to ultimately measure the aesthetic it is a first is that it is a simplified polar scale whether it is a beautiful or ugly whether it is a good or a bad it is a that is the aesthetic pleasure okay, aesthetic uh, concept of uh, clothing it is a good. So, that is a some polar attributes we can give then by subjective uh, measurement okay, it is a soft or hard. So, that this type of uh, some uh, by expressing by word by subjective evolution we can measure the aesthetics okay. like a drape it is a it is a beautiful, okay. but you can measure the drape by flexible or rigid like that psychological sensation it is a uh, visually it is a pleasing. So, that is a psychological sensation and uh, fourth one is the it is a objective measurement. So, we have to see that can we measure this psychological aesthetic aspects by objective measurement. Okay. This uh, objective evaluation of the aesthetics is very important to quantify. Okay. So, we will stop here. So, we will continue in the next class. Okay? Thank you.